anxiety in a situation, we need very much to try to practice talking to anxiety. We need to say to it, hello, anxiety. Yeah, I know why you're here. This is uncomfortable, but I'm going to give you some information to tell you that we're safe because actually we are safe. It's just uncomfortable. I don't like it, but I'm safe. And it just needs that little bit of reassurance. And while we're doing that, while we're giving that message, we're blocking out all of the anxiety thinking that would be going on instead. And anxiety hears what we're saying and it starts to feel safer. And so it diminishes down again. And then we can start to feel a little bit more comfortable. Right. So, so say I'm heading into the shop and I, I need to start saying to myself, I'm safe. You know, this is normal anxiety. You're there, but yeah. nothing's going to happen to me. Um, and, you know, I'll be actually so busy thinking, why am I talking to myself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost yeah. like you can I'll, say I'll, I'm going shopping with anxiety so come on anxiety yeah. let's go around the shop we'll just I'm look around be, I'm going to be hearing you now in my head every time I go to the shop so that'd be good <laughs> telling me just don't you know, expose yourself okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be ringing you from jail if uh, <laughs> I did that yeah. you know when you're you got your face mask on and you are you're having a bit of an anxiety attack or a bit of a stress you have, your breathing becomes more rapid and fast doesn't it mm -hmm. and then you have this amazing heat um around the mask mm -hmm. and, and it does feel increasingly uncomfortable which doesn't help either so you've got that on top of everything else um with the yes. masks haven't you um so is your mask material yeah they are probably the least helpful type of masks you can have. If you can order surgical masks, they're much more like paper and they're so light and they don't, they don't cling to your face. So as you breathe and you get hot and sweaty, yes, exactly. They are much better and you can shape them a little bit around your nose. I have to sort of a big hooter, <laughs> but actually, they don't cling to you like those material ones. I, I tried the material ones and I really panicked. I found them hideously uncomfortable. Yeah, I didn't realise these are my daughter's because um, she obviously needs them for her work. Um, they, they actually probably would be a lot better, wouldn't they, than the material yeah. ones? Yeah. Do you want to try it on and just see if you can feel the difference or is that okay to do that? Yeah. It's just... From getting around the biggie. <laughs> so the material ones... They're, yeah. they're almost like woolen, aren't they? Or, or cotton, but they're very clingy yeah. and they, they get really heavy with the, the, the sweat and the condensation from the breath. This is definitely better than the... And the meal, and to be fair, my other one is black as well. Yeah. So and it gets quite hot. Um, yeah. But yeah, they are definitely better. I'll get some of and those. You and I are often in a parallel place because I just had a conversation with Kevin before we started chatting. He's done all the shopping. I haven't been in a shop since february i went to the garage once mm. um i haven't been to a supermarket at all you know and, and i've said okay i need to start doing some of this now it's not fair that you're doing it all the time and here's what we need to do so anxiety lurks until we have a plan so for mm. example if i know that i've got a, an event coming up in the diary and i start to feel anxious about it the, the anxiety is looking to know again, you know, there's an event in the diary. We don't feel good about it. Are we safe? We have to give it something. And so we have to look ahead and we have to make a plan. So you could say to yourself, and I'm going to say to myself, okay, I'm going to go to the shop on that day. If I'm in difficulty, this is my plan. Mm -hmm. So it will be okay for me to put my shopping down and walk out of the shop because I will. That's nice. my plan. It will be okay to go and tell a member of the staff if I had a panic attack because I might need help. That's okay. If I needed to, if I was really in distress, I'm going to say to myself, it's okay to sit on the floor and for someone to come and help. Mm. So I'm going to put things in that give myself a plan. And by doing that, I'm actually answering anxiety. Well, what if? Because anxiety says, what if? What mm. if? 
And as long as we've got a little plan there, we could, it, it starts to feel more comfortable. Okay, well, there's a plan. I don't need to be here now. Yeah. But sometimes, um, like, what am I getting so... Why am I having anxiety about going into a shop? Um, I mean, why aren't I feeling so? I mean, that's what I don't understand is where it's coming from. Is it because I haven't been to a shop for so long? Um, is it because people are wearing masks? It's trying to recognise why I am feeling like this, you know, okay. because um, I don't understand what would be my reasoning for being feeling unsafe going to a shop. So if I say to you, can you name something that makes you fear feel fearful about going to the shop? What would you say? Um... I think, do you know what my worst, I know it sounds silly, but using the card. Um, I, I haven't used a card for ages, which is the new, um, or what do you call it, where you don't have to put your pin oh, number contactless. in. Contactless. Contactless. Yeah. And a thousand times I said, Stephen, which way do I do it? Which way do I do it on the machine? And um, he says, well, you just put it near the machine. And that was instantly causing me stress. What if it don't work? How, you know, and then and Stephen said, well, just put the number in. And I went, oh, yeah, of course. But I was, that was my main thing that I was worrying about. Yeah. Putting the shopping in the bag. Yeah. Because then um, they go really fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keeping up with them. Cues behind me. Stop there. When you're putting the shopping in and it's going really fast, what are you feeling? I feel like I'm... Um, holding people up and feel like people are looking at me being slow and not understanding why I'm slow because so, good okay hold yeah. that so with the contactless card anxiety says what if so I'll ask you that question what if what's your plan if it doesn't if I can't do it mm -hmm. um, well, I've got my phone. Okay. I can use. I can use. I know how to use my phone. Good. I've got. I've got Apple, so I could do that. If that didn't work, I um, make sure I've got some cash with me. Okay, so great. I, uh, I'll pay with cash. Um, what about I asking think... somebody? Oh. <sighs> could you put your hand up and just say to a member of staff, "Can I get some help?" Yeah. Um. I might be a bit embarrassed to do that though. <laughs> okay. But the other two things would work for you, okay. Yeah, I think I think if I had cash on me as a backup. Right. So if it didn't work, because I've been with Stephen where sometimes a contactless doesn't work. Yeah. You know, for some unknown reason it don't work and then he just puts his number in. Um it will work. Which I you know, I can put the number in as well, but um I just like to yeah, you're right, I need to have a backup. <laughs> But not only do you have to have a backup, you now have to say to yourself in your head, it's okay, anxiety, I now have a plan for that. Yeah. So what yeah. if, this is what if. Right. When you're stood at the counter and the food is going along and, and you've got to pack it and do all of that, and you might not be working very well because of Parkinson's, your fear was people are looking at you, they don't understand what's going on. What can you do? To, to resolve that well I actually did do this um, last time and instead of putting it in a bag I just put it straight back into the trolley and then I went back to the car and I bagged it in when I got back to the car good um, because I didn't want to put myself under the pressure of trying to put it in the bags with when I knew that I wouldn't be able to keep up right. so for me it was worked better so I have got a backup plan um, with that Good. Uh, but um, yeah, that, that's that's actually very very good thinking of having a backup plan. It is essential, and yeah. the the way I deal with that situation, um, just so that you can consider this as well, I've got a wristband that says Parkinson's UK. I've got a badge that says I've got Parkinson's. Please give me time. Yeah. Um, so I, I could show, I could literally, you know, just pull my coat open a little bit and show my badge. I've got a card yeah. that goes in my wallet that says the same thing. 
Yeah. Or I could even just turn to somebody and say, really sorry, I've got Parkinson's. Please give me a moment. Yeah. So I, again, those are little methods that you, you, you're, when you've got them, and, and I tell you what, the first time I went out with my badge and my little wristband and bits like that, and I, I thought, oh, this is a bit over the top, isn't it? I'm kind of like almost wearing my Parkinson's with pride and, and it's a bit odd. But actually, I felt so much more confident because I, could, I had a, a tool I could use. And if my words yeah. don't come out very well or if I can't move properly, here, look at this. <laughs> it helped. I... In Parkinson's UK, they used to do bags with Parkinson's like logo on it and, you know, like it was almost an advert yeah. saying anything like that. Yeah. It's a good way to do yeah. it. Have um, the other thing you can do is even write it on your hand because that might, you know, for anybody that doesn't have a piece of equipment to to, to show, write it on your hand before you go to the shops, just on the top of your hand here, and then that way, you know, your sleeve might hang down. But if you want to, you can just go like that to somebody. Yeah, <coughs> we'll get yeah. tattooed. <laughs> but it's there. There are these methods, and and I'll ask you this little question here. Now that you've seen that having a plan helps, how do you feel? Do you know, falling off karma, you know, when I was explaining to you about yeah. what stressed me, I feel so much karma now um, because it makes sense. If I have a plan, if this does happen, I can do this. So, exactly. yeah, it's, it's, it's just when I get to the shop, I just need to... Have you listening, you know, you in my head <laughs> talking to me, <laughs> conversation. Because sometimes um, it, it's, it sounds sensible here because I'm not in that situation. But I need yeah, to, right. you know, when I'm sort of get to the shop, I need to just probably just give myself a couple of minutes in the car before I get out. Not get out and just go straight in. I just need to think, right, Yeah. what's worrying you? I just need to take that two, two or three minutes, don't I? Yeah. And Absolutely. And that's just giving yourself that time and something else that people can do. And I've done before and I've only done it a couple of times, but I've always found it very helpful. If you know you're going to a, a shop that either might be larger, like a supermarket or uh, just a, a shop where you might have to move around quite a bit to get around it. One of the things I used to fear because I had a bout of falling over a lot before my, my medication was increased. I phoned up to a shop in a nearby town called Woodbridge and I said to them uh, I've got Parkinson's I'm coming into the shop um, you'll probably recognize me because I've been in there before but so I know you but can I possibly ask that you could tell me either where there is a chair I could sit down if I feel like I need to or would you mind putting a chair out near the till so that I, I, I know there's a place I can go to if I need if I feel wobbly mm -hmm. and they absolutely helped straight away. They put a chair there. <clears throat> and when I went in, I just went and introduced myself and said, oh, I'm the guy who phoned up at the chair. Um, but I knew it would be there. I trusted them. They put it there. My anxiety went because I had a plan. And it yeah. was like, I don't have to feel fearful about going around that shop now. Oh, and right. you can, so you can do things like that. Mm, do anything definitely. like that. Yeah. That's, that, that's helped me a lot, mm. actually. And... Yeah. Because I, I plan on doing this at least every other day, going out to the shops uh, and also going out driving. I've got a camper van. I haven't got a boot in my van. Mm. So if I, I would go to the shops, I get really stressed because I've got three or four bags of shopping and I put them in there and they'd fall over and go everywhere. And then that became a stress in itself as well. And you can go online. I went to Amazon and you can buy what it's, uh, they're basically like, um, they're like a fold up. Uh, they uh, get my words out. <laughs> <laughs> they are it's like a box made of material and it's got segments in it and you can put your bags into it yeah i've seen them okay and then also i bought a because sometimes getting bags from the vehicle back into the house is a problem so again for about 20 quid on amazon there was a, a fold out it, it looks like a briefcase made of plastic but it unfolds the handle comes up and it turns into a box and you could put a bag into it it's on wheels oh. and then you could just pull your shopping in <laughs> and all, all of these things take the anxiety away mm. so even if you're looking at driving if you were to think about okay worst case scenario i might have to pull over i'd also want to make sure i've got my phone 
I've mm -hmm. got the numbers that I need to phone somebody. If for any reason I can't get through, I'll, I'll have a bottle of water in the car so that I can keep myself hydrated, a travel blanket, just anything that just makes you feel comforted that it's there. Yeah. All of those bits help. Yeah. It's great. So I think we've covered anxiety. I mean, the, other, the final thing I'd say on it, I mean, I'm a psychotherapist and people often think, well, you shouldn't get any of these type of problems. But they're, they're actually helpful things. They're there for a reason. and We've learned to fear them. But also, sometimes they make sense. You know, we're in a completely, our, our way of life has been turned upside down. So it has to make sense that we feel anxious because if we didn't feel anything, it would be a bit weird. So mm. give, give yourself permission to feel uncomfortable feelings and say, well, as long as it makes sense, I know that I haven't got something going wrong up here yeah. because, because it is making sense because mm. this is different. Things mm. have changed, you know? Yeah, De definitely. Especially this past six months who nobody ever envisaged would be living like this. <laughs> no, Good no.